Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Um, US 30 once again posted yet another positive candle. It's still currently positive today, bringing us up to 29 sessions with only three down days. Uh, and uh, it still grinds on ever higher as data came out of the US yesterday. That was not so bad. And uh, we do actually have a, a fair host of data coming out today. We've got UK um, GDP, we've got US durable goods and uh, employment claims, um, which should add uh, a little bit of extra color to those markets. Um, as ever, um, I've got to say that we are approaching that all time high again, which is around about 17,895. Support remains at 17,738. In the middle of two ranges right now, if we burst through 17,898, you probably got to be thinking about the psychological round number of 18,000, and after that, 20,000. So things continue to go quite well. Um, looking at the UK 100, um, 6771 looks to be the potential uh, resistance. You can see this was acting as support back here uh, in the middle of September. Uh, and we failed to break through it there on Friday. Um, we had a doji formation there on Monday. More on decision again on Tuesday, albeit this is quite a, a decent technical signal from a psychology point of view. You know, we were down here, we closed pretty much bang on there, and we are slightly in positive territory today. And the Germany 30 is looking quite bullish as well this morning, looking at the, at the end of the day charts. It's a closing in on 9,900. So 6771 is a level to beat. Technicals are overbought, but that's not surprising considering the trend that's currently in play. Um, Japan 25, nothing else really to report here over and above what we've said before. 17,496 uh, remains the potential resistance, more consolidation. We're just waiting for either a failure to break resistance or a technical breakout targeting 18,306. So looking at uh, uh, dollar yen, uh, we seem to be also unable to break fresh ground. So um, looking at the bottom of these yeah. tips right here, we've got around about 17.36, uh, 117.36, sorry, could be potential support. We've been una unable to break the level bit higher. In fact, I'm gonna add those levels in there just so I can see it a little bit more clearly. These are short-term uh, support levels, so not as significant as the other ones that I've kind of drawn on here. But we are trading in the middle of quite a tight range at 117 spot 36 to 180 but maybe basically 119 um but there's lots of fundamentals around the yen that's stopping this from pushing up higher but if we get good durable goods and uh, decent unemployment claims uh, that will be the real test if they come out really good and dollar yen still isn't able to shift up a gear um that probably shows that the, the this kind of rally that we've had since august last year might be coming to a bit of a it might be at the top of this range anyway. I don't want to say coming to an end, but it looks like it's gonna to struggle to break through without something a little bit more significant. So looking at Crude Oil West Texas, again, OPEC meeting coming up today on Thursday, in fact. Uh, things looking a little bit uh, unlikely for any change. We are trading below 75. Next potential support level is at 70 spot 41. We've talked about Crude Oil many times over these daily videos. Um, the fundamentals haven't dr drastically changed. Uh, and as you can see there, we might have short-term potential support around about 73 spot 38. Um, but this is the pressure is still there uh, and has not managed to rebound on that um, Chinese rate cut. So I don't think there's much hope for crude oil in the short term. Um, gold in the middle of two ranges. This still remains kind of unexciting for me, to be honest. Uh, 11.86 support resistance at 12.18. So finishing up with the other FX pairs. So we did bounce on your dollar of support, one spot 23.67. We're coming up close to that 21 period SMA. Obviously the next potential resistance is a bit higher, 125 spot 79. While we're in the middle of two ranges, if you're not already in this trade, it's, you know your dollar doesn't have a lot of love to give at the moment, um, but you know what the core levels are. Technicals are still completely neutral. Um, so it, it really could, um, it could go either way, but you do have those durable goods and employment claims today, which could act as a, as a slight catalyst. I don't know if you've got anything else today as well. You actually have the housing index in the US, and um, of course it's Wednesdays, so you've got crude oil inventories as well, which could be significant for your uh, crude oil positions uh, and the previous couple of products that we looked at. So that is your dollar, and we finish up with GBP USD. Again, another, another retrace move back up to 57.43. This is the potential resistance in play. We are making a, a consolidated move right here. We are making a series of lower, uh, uh, sorry, higher lows on the candles, uh, which could be indicative of a re-challenge right here. Um, so those uh, macroeconomic announcements that we mentioned could be interesting. Obviously with UK GDP today as well, um, you've got a, a kind of a double whammy to, to look out for. If we fast forward onto Thursday, 
you can see that we've got a German CPI, so that could be interesting for Euro dollar traders, and that's pretty much it. And if we fast forward onto Friday, we do have uh, UK house price uh, details right there uh, from nationwide, month to month, and uh, Eurozone CPI. So still probably um, FX focused, um, with the US 30 still grinding away at long, long uh, all-time highs, it's kind of hard to uh, instigate brand new trades on, on that one. Um, but in the FX world, GBP USD, you do have this potential pivot level there, 57.43, and obviously Euro dollar, if we get a little bit closer to those significant support resistance levels, that could be kind of interesting as well. As ever, keep your eye on the chart forum. Lots of cool trade setups here from our global analyst team. Make sure you make insights part of your layout, and join me again tomorrow <clears> to find out what happened next.